I got to leave tomorrow. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Seattle. Uh, I'm going to tape my uh, my third and uh, possibly last CD in Seattle. People are asking me why you're last, and I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you pick Seattle. That's where Kurt Cobain did his thing. Well, I don't think are I'm you going to do your thing after you? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just being a self pity and puss. How's your uh, single life doing? I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I'm just learning. Like, well, I'm in the middle of this. Div- I'm in the middle of this divorce process now. Yeah, you have fun with that. What what is wrong with that? <laughs> you enjoy that? No, man. I just I don't under. Uh, you see, I don't want to bring us down here, man. You know, you know, we got a sports guy coming in later. No, bring us down because a lot of people could understand yeah. what you're going through. He's divorced t- too. Ants. Ants. You well, know, he's, oh, years into that. his or years something ago. like that. Well, there's a couple of things that I didn't. <laughs> yeah. You, well, yeah, we talked about it the last uh, time. Well, I when I was like... here last time, I think I was still. Holding on to hope. Oh, no. Hope, I wasn't? Hope yeah, goes you out are. the window. You, you are. Absolute, was, you are, and it was sad for me to see. Because I was, I was, because uh, I remember I was watching what I said. Yeah. I was trying to yeah. be careful about things because mm-hmm. I, I, but Cause now. Because you're thinking it might work out after something, all. You're I, past that now, though. Well, I mean, it's just, you start to have all these realizations, and now, like, uh, so, much, so much has happened since the last time I'm here. But the bottom, the bottom line is, is that I don't understand I, I don't want to generalize, you know, I, like I'm not a misogynistic person. I don't I don't hate women. I hate like two. I know. And it's for good reason. <laughs> and but I, I just don't understand what the hell she's doing, how vindictive they get. I just I mean, this is a person. Oh, you boy. know What? Yeah. Wait, I got nothing, you yeah. know, and she gets she here's what happens. I get a lawyer. Mm-hmm. I get a lawyer that I pay what a few grand for because I don't know how to file for a divorce. Who the hell knows how to do mm-hmm. that? Right. You know, what are you supposed to do? What do you go to, online and get paperwork? I don't know how this to do is, that. This is carbon copy. Yeah. Okay, so I go get a reasonable lawyer, just some scrapper out in Tarzana, yeah. some friend of a friend. This woman's just like, you know, I'll fight it out for you. I'm like, and I'm thinking, like, yeah. this is going to be good. It's going to be like mm-hmm. a miniseries kind of thing. <laughs> sure. Right? This woman can do it. So I, I get a nice, cheap lawyer just so I can file because I just yeah. want to do that so I could uh, have sex with other people without asking her. Right. So. So then what happens is, of course, I have sex with the wrong person because she knows her. And I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but I like to pride myself on thinking I'm not being an angry guy. But, you know, I did take some action. I was playing chess on some level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that aggravated her. She, so what happens is she leaves me. Three months later, I file for divorce, right? I go to Scotland. I, I come back. You know, I, I date somebody she knows. And now all of a sudden, I'm the idiot. I'm the uh, idiot. Because mm-hmm. it, like her leaving has nothing to do with anything anymore. Sure, I, that's got that's got nothing. But why would you date her sister? Well, I tried to date her mom, but I mean, you know, it's like <laughs> I, <I'm> just, no. <laughs> was it a friend of hers or just someone she knew casually? I, I would say casually, but you know, we're in comedy. We, you run in the same circles. What am I supposed to do? Go to another country? Right. Right. You, you know, what are you supposed to do? You, you, the, the community is what it is. You know what you know. Right. It's either going to be, <laughs> you know, people in the rooms or yeah. going to be people in comedy. That's it. <sighs> so. So now what happens is, you pissed her off. I, I, yeah, I really did piss her off. But the thing was, is like, okay, w- w- that, to me, I was rationalizing. Like, how unusual is that? You know what I mean? That's what people do. You know, when you get left, you can't hurt them. So you got to go out and have sex with people they know. Sure. Right? It, didn't you do that? Uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the reason. Because right? the other side of it is, you're lonely, you're broken. Why am I the, why am I the predator? How, how come I'm not the victim in that situation? This yeah. woman would not leave me alone, right. which is the truth. All right, nonetheless. I can't believe that. Oh, all right, so she goes out. So now she gets a lawyer, right? Uh, just like you did, right? The Through the person, cheap, inexpensive. Kind, no. No. She went and got the supreme divorce lawyer right. that celebrities use. Right. And Numero course. uno. Thank you. Because Thank she you. is divorce surrounded lawyer. by vindictive. Right. right. They, 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 get, they get a bug in their ear. That's right. And, and they go, yeah, I should. That's right. Ugh. But the thing that I don't understand, you know, bottom line, is like you got a lot more bread than I do, bro. And I, you know, and that's fine. I'm proud I, of you. Let me but tell look, you something. What I didn't at the time. No? no, no. They waited and strung that divorce out until I signed a, a really good contract. They waited. I wasn't making a lot of money when uh, uh, we filed. But if you, but if you, if you signed a contract after you filed for divorce, I mean, is it, I mean, no. so. What? Future earnings, potential. I had the potential of making eighty-five billion dollars. I think the oh, and she deserves. You know, they figured a portion out of that. They figured out a way to to make it so, like, no, it doesn't matter what you have, doesn't matter what your pay is. Right. Potential. It matters. You have the potential to make this much, so you owe this much half of your potential of what you could make. 
I'm so not... I'm sitting there looking at this number going, I can't come close to ever making that in my life. And, and, they had to and, figure over a hundred million. I do believe they freak. Yeah, <laughs> over. And you were million. like one hundred and ten. Yeah, you what made the a hell little is more. That based on <laughs> nothing. So, but how were they able to actually? Uh, so, they, what, what happened with that? So they just strung that along. They couldn't make a case based they on that. They strung it along and strung it along like they do because they want you to settle. They don't want you to go through this. They want you to settle and they want to get a good deal. That's how divorces work. They rarely go to trial and rarely finish in court. Usually, both parties are so exhausted and punched out, and it's usually the guy, that you turn around and go, look, I want to end this. What do you need? What do you want? What do you want to, do to just get the get out of my life? And, and then you, you this, settle. This, this is not a hopeful conversation. Because no, it's not. Because, you know, I mean, I'm trying, like, I'm, I'm a, uh, for, for the most part, I'm a little morally bankrupt, but I'm a decent guy when it comes to business. I'm a mm -hmm. decent guy when it comes to loyalty to people, to friends. You know, I, you know, if I, you know, I only have two friends or three, so you know what I mean? It's, I'm not going to screw them over. She was one of them. But now, I just don't, what, what bothers me is that in my head, this person that's doing this, given that she made her own money, given that, you know, that what, the reason she left was like, I got a bag of cash. You know, I got my own bread. I'm taking off. And it was like, it hurt my feelings, but I was willing to give her what was legally hers. Uh huh. And then this other thing happens. And I'm like, how do you live with yourself? How, how do you, <laughs> but how, you know, how, how do, do you, you live with yourself? With your money. <laughs> but it ain't that much money. <laughs> Don't the, matter. My, my money, whatever whatever that's going to be, it's, it ain't going to last her long. And the truth of the matter is, is that are, are you telling me that women in general are that able to justify morally compromise themselves to just say, you know, screw, they don't have no conscience? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She's looking for a lot. I mean, that was like a big piece of what, of what whatever. She's, you're... she's looking to just uh, turn the. Well, no. He, what, what the deal is is that you, you know I got I got what I have. You know I, I made some I saved some money because I had the radio gig for a little while. All right, but now you know I'm in, you know what have I got? I'm doing stand up. You know, last year I, I got a little deal with HBO. I just finished a second draft of a script for HBO. But we had the writer strike that you know took me out of the game for months. And then uh, you know who the hell knows what's going to happen with that? It's not a lot of bread. So this last year wasn't that great. So she wants half, you know, I don't mind giving her half what's legally hers, but the truth of the matter is there's some stuff that's not. And, and she's vindictive about it. She's like, you know, I, I deserve everything. I'm like, dude, you got, you know, you made some bread, you know, take, take half of this. And this and is all based on the fact that you uh, dated one of her friends, you think? No, I think, it, I don't know what it's based on. The, the fact was, is that she left and for three months she said, I don't know what I want to do. And, and then I said, well, what are we going to do with that? And she says, I still don't know. I said, look, I'm going to file for divorce because it's not fair. Mm -hmm. And that's that. I mean, the other stuff, dating, I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. Aren't you supposed to date? I mean, what are you supposed to do? Hell yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm just a dude here. You know, maybe I, maybe I made some wrong decisions. I don't know how to date. The I never guy just before. gets so screwed in these uh, divorces. Always. I mean, Always. this is an ongoing theme on the show. And it's you got to pay the, the legal fees of the both woman sides. who gets the best lawyer around, and you get, like, a piece of crap lawyer, and then you have to pay for her good lawyer to screw you over. And uh, then you sit there, and um, you, you wind up settling. You have all these... Let me tell you something. You'll go through this, too. You'll have all these delusions that court and divorce court is this thing that's based on your individuality. You're you. She's her. Things will come out that'll prove that you are this guy that did this and she did this and you deserve what you have and she doesn't deserve this. And then you realize, oh, my God, I'm just this docket number and it's cookie cutter like they look at you as John Doe and Jane Doe, and uh, they'll they'll look at a slide rule and uh, crunch some numbers, and they have a formula that they go through. There's no there's no friend that'll barge through the door and go, Your Honor, I've known this man for years, and let me tell you. And then the judge goes, That's fantastic. Dismissed, you missy. Leave this courtroom, you hussy. I was it, hoping you'd do that it for me. Does it? I'll, I will. It won't help. <laughs> but uh, well, it, see now. Now it really it just comes down work, to a formula. It comes down to this formula mm -hmm. to get you in and out the door quickly and get the next case in. There's no individuality in, in well, these I'm, cases. I'm starting to feel that. And you know, oddly, you know what you're doing for me now, which maybe I mm. needed to be done, yeah. is you're completely diminishing my hope. And, and maybe yeah, that's get why... Get rid I, of the hope. Get rid of it. Does this window open? 
Uh, no, that's because, what, thank God. <laughs> Mark, let me tell you something. It almost destroyed Anthony. Uh, the stress I saw on this uh, guy's face. Because well, it just went on and well, that's on what happens. and years. on. You can't, you and can't live your life. And Anthony's, no. Anthony's a good guy. He, he was really trying to do the right thing when he was going through this divorce. I know Anthony can't really talk about things, but I saw things where he was really trying to make sure she was okay and they were going to move on and stuff, and that wasn't good enough for her. Well, that's and what she that's went what for the, And she went for the jugular, my friend. Yeah, I just don't like. I don't know. I assume that she's on top of all this, and I, you know, I guess maybe am I being an idiot? Did we tell you the bank am account? I being, did we tell you the bank account story? Am I being an idiot for talking about it? No, not at all. We no, love no, this. No, just, we love. You this don't subject. get into like details, really, and stuff. You don't get into like details of of uh, property and stuff like that. That could get you in a little bit of a jam up. This is, but you can talk about your life, especially if you're on the air. You're a comedian, also. I mean, your your job is talking about your life and well, I mean, it's just like, like that. I, so after a certain point, you know. like because I just don't understand it. Yeah. That that there there's a reasonable thing that needs to happen here, and you can't be reasonable anymore. No, and no, no. Reasonable goes out the window. And this is when Anthony realized it. I'll, I'll try to keep it vague, but oh. Anthony's going through this, and I I looked at Anthony one day. We're in our office a few hours before the show, and I go. You got a you got a joint uh, bank account, and then goes yeah. I go, y you might want to you know go check on that. And Aunt, I swear to you, goes I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take half the money out. The the marriage is definitely done at this point. Definitely, yeah. there's no turning back. And Aunt, as a good guy, goes I'm gonna take out half, which is mine, and I'll leave the other half for her. Even though probably you you were more than half oh. was officially mm -hmm. yours. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. So he had way less than a hundred G's in the bank, and this is after doing radio for four or five years. Okay. Yeah. And we go down the, I remember like it was yesterday, it was lunchtime, we go down the bank and Anthony fills out his little uh, withdrawal, withdrawal slip, slip, hands it over to the teller, I'm taking half, I want my money, and the... Uh, the she goes, let me get the manager. Yeah. And the manager of the bank comes over and goes, um, you have a balance of $5.52 in Not only your did she account. take the entire joint account out, she left about four or five bucks just to make it hurt that much. Yeah, well, to not close the Wait, account. Well, here's the thing that I did that maybe was a mistake. Maybe, maybe you did it yourself. Is that from the beginning, and this is true, mm -hmm. from the beginning, I, I was I was honest. I was transparent. I mean, you know, they asked for stuff. I organized it. I spent three weeks putting everything I had together because yeah. I just wanted this to go smoothly. Right. And and I and I and I gave them everything. Ju right. You just want it to get over with smoothly, civil, and fair. And fair. Yeah. And it just isn't. You know, it's just not enough. And then you start to. It, it, it is, and and because it goes on for so damn long, any any amount of joy that you have in your life, you're like, hey, you know, today's okay, man. I'm you know I'm having a sandwich. No. I'm outside, and then all of a sudden it's like, all it takes one email this from you. Paul is just over you. This yeah, this, it this, never ugh. goes away, and this, I ugh. I have one of those over me anyways, a oh vague one that has God. no definition. Oh, you poor I, I'm bastard. living with a, a Paul upon a Paul. Yes. I feel like I'm several Pauls over me right now. Oh God! I, this I feel like I went into a time machine. I'm I know, at Anthony. I know. You got it, a lot to learn, my friend. The first thing, and That's it a, is, we it walked is away, horrid. We walked away from the bank. I had to give Anthony money so he could live for a couple of days. I was like, I just need nothing. A couple of bucks till payday. She wiped them. Need a couple of bucks till payday. There. She wiped them. Out. Uh, <laughs> the hope thing really does have to just leave. A you got to leave any hope. Well, it's of, a shifting of, hope. Like before, I hope you know that that we could we could uh, still be together. Mm, but now you just hope that it it does. Doesn't get She'll as ugly. No, it'll. You will go through times where you are so mad, you are so infuriated at at uh, the ex, at the ex's lawyer, at your lawyer. Just pure utter rage because you can't convey what you want, how you want this to to go through. You want to open your mouth in the court. But you can't. You're it's, not allowed. Your lawyer talks for you. It just seems to be, it, to me, you know what it comes right down to, and I don't know if it's because I'm a Jew or what. It's just like we're, yeah. waste, we're, we're wasting money. Yeah. Of course. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, of this course. is ridiculous. Such a waste. You know, you're wasting money. I'm wasting money. Yeah, I mean, this is no time for that crap. That's I mean, why what's going on in the, in the long right run, now. you will settle. I, I guarantee this will not get to an end to a trial, to a judge making a judgment. It, you will settle because it's after, not a, because it it's a wearing down process. Yeah, also, it's not in the lawyer's best interest to to settle right away. They want this no, to go on no, forever no. to build up their lawyer fees. Oh, but the weird thing is, I got part of the, I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh, you yeah, got enough, my yeah, friend. You got. I guess you got enough. You got enough, obviously. Yeah, you must right, have listen, a little something. It's about I'm, female greed and entitlement. I'm that's what become. They want to be equals. 
and they, they are tired of being second class citizens until it comes to divorce or child custody, so, and they're very happy to be second class citizens. So, you know, they're back on uh, the prairie. They want their independence, <laughs> so you got to finance that. Right. Right. I, I, Thank you. You do. <laughs> yeah. you, have to, you have to finance their independence. Now, what, what, what happens now with you and her? Uh, Ooh. Me, me and the ex? Yeah. The uh, ex uh, wife? Uh, I I still uh, make uh, payments, which... Um, you have kids? No. No kids? No, no kids? No nothing. Let me tell you something. I went into this uh, divorce mm. with my paycheck, what I made on a weekly basis working at uh, WNEW uh, down the road. And it wasn't this ridiculous amount of money. It w and we didn't ha own anything. I, I, I leased a car. That was pretty much it. You would lease a car, and you guys had way less than 100 Gs in the bank, and she took that. But that should have been went, the end of story. It What's just the law here? went on and on and on, and, and, and for years, Mark, he, it went on with delays and postponements. And it, Mark, he's still paying, okay? To the point where I'm sitting there going, like, I can't do this anymore. Right. This has to end. You know, you know what I'm finding though that on a, on a spiritual level, mm -hmm. spiritual level, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you believe in the devil. <laughs> Is that <laughs> well? I always believed in the devil. Yeah. I just I just didn't know I was working for him for years. <laughs> But I, on a spiritual level, you know, spiritual, you know, sometimes you know who your employer is. But on a spiritual level, I, you know, I've been really learning that, uh, you know, the things that make me happy are, are very simple and don't cost any money. Right. The simple <laughs> things in life. Hey, Here we are at XM Satellite Radio, patiently waiting for Jose Canseco to come through that fine door of ours. Of ours. Uh, we got Mark Marin. He made the walkover to continue uh, bitching about women. <laughs> uh, well, nice. I'd like some advice. Fellas. It's going through a tough time. Yeah. I'm going to ask you guys for advice. That's how bad off I am. <laughs> hey, we are the uh, the purest, probably most honest people you can ask. You know, well, yeah, we, you scared the hell out of me. You don't have an agenda I, or anything. Yeah, you know, I thought I was feeling better this morning. Like, I'm excited. I'm going to go down there. I talked to you for 10 minutes about divorce, and now I'm like, I'm done. But I like how you were saying uh, you know, your hope is diminishing. Because well, that, that is a good thing. You don't want hope. Well, I have no hope of us ever being, you know, friends or, or, or the marriage. Oh, yeah, that should, that should go out the window immediately. But, but I had some hope that there would be some closure or resolution to this process. Dude. It goes on and on for a while. Well, and uh, the best advice I could give you is no matter what, don't, don't let it really take hold and just dominate your life. It just it happens it did in that moments. For three years for me, it, it was nothing but an all-consuming mess that I just couldn't I'd wake up in the morning boom there it was right well that's what some days are better than others you know it's not like it's it's almost like this thing like some sort of universal force that I have yeah. no control over because you know she's just a person and I know where she lives I know where she hangs out yeah and there's part of the things so like I'm gonna go appeal to her better side I'm gonna yeah. go stalk her like a reasonable person <laughs> confront her in a coffee stalk. shop and demand that she'd show me her better side and cut this crap out. Oh, man, it Mark. Does it. The I lawyer know. already gave her the speech that this might be coming. <laughs> yeah, lawyers, lawyers are Think of everything. The, just the scum. Well, I can tell when she's talking and her lawyer's talking. Like yeah. she's, she's at me and so, well, you know what? I, I, now I'm concerned about details, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But there, there's this moment. Look, you know, it's been, it, I'm a comedian. Uh -huh. I'm, you know, I'm in show business. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. Some years are better than others. And it's just, the whole thing to me is just sad because I was honest. She left me, mm -hmm. and now I'm the asshole. Right. Yeah. You know, and it's just at like... At least it, you're finally... Get, you got right. it right. Right. But, <laughs> it's about but, time. But there are those moments where, like, you, you want it, you just... It's the same moment when they leave. I, I mean, you know, what? I, I don't know how dramatic it was for you, but you know, I thought things were okay. I thought things were... You know, I know I have an anger problem. You know, I know that... You know, that, that it was difficult. Yeah. But I was trying. But, you know, in its best moments... When you're in a relationship, you think you have some semblance of control. You don't, you don't really, you know, entertain the idea that they just can take their vagina and leave, and, and then you pick it up with them and go. Right? Yeah, and then you're going to stand there going, "Wait, this, oh, we're married. Isn't half of that vagina mine? Don't I have any say?" They, I think, have dibs on the whole vagina. Right, and you don't want a, a vagina that doesn't like you no, in the house. But no. but the horrible thing is that there was. Uh, I don't even remember if I talked about this because I'm over this stuff, as you can tell. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm past this stuff, but now it, it's just, I did everything I was supposed to do. I did it right. And this party, it's like, I want to be rewarded for being honest in the oh, process. Oh, no, you're, you'll be punished. <laughs> you'll be punished severely I, I, oh for it. Oh, my God. I guess I'm being naive. so much to learn. 
I know, talk, I, but this is not the lesson I wanted you to got, learn. You Divorce got, court is bizarro world. It's just everything's backwards. The nicer you are, the worse you'll be treated. Uh, it's just it's a horrible uh, thing to have to go through. My first my first divorce, I had no money. I just you know I gave her half of the you know the take from the book. And, you just and said I left f- her. You, you just said first divorce. Yeah. Yeah. You you, you married again. Yeah. Okay, I can't even talk to you. But have you? I, I loved can't her. Even, I loved her. Didn't you? You liked her. We. I mean, doesn't matter if you you, you love. Uh, you, there's no second marriages. God, what what, what there love can't becomes? Be. What love becomes, dude? I mean, I, you know, because there was that period, man, where she was she was still getting the mail at my house, right? She yeah. leaves me, but she's still getting her mail and in her shit still at the house, and and she would come over to get the mail. You know, and this one I'm hanging on to hope. So you know, you oh, you know she's coming no, over to get the mail. So yeah. you're you know you're combing your hair. Oh, you know you're brushing your teeth. Yeah, you're brushing your teeth. You're putting the, the good oh, shoes on. God, you know. I want to slap you yeah, when you're, you're talk holding, like you're, this. You're holding your belly in. Oh, yeah, oh, and God. she comes over to get the mail. <laughs> yeah, and this is why. But this is a woman I was in love with, man. Yeah. I mean, I left a woman. I left a marriage for this woman, and and I loved her, and I would have done anything for her, right? But here's what it becomes. You know, she comes over for mail, and then you start getting into this thing where she's like leaving. I'm like, so you know, I mean, you want to? Oh, know, you, you want to spark up a conversation? No, no I want to fuck her. Yeah. Well, oh boy. Unfortunately, she's picking up the mail and going home to another mail. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> kind of spelt a little See, different. See, I don't even, I don't even want to believe that. You don't want to think that. You're not I'm ready not, to believe that one yet. I don't know that that's true. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh man, you guys. How long you been? Uh, you really want to hang with us today? But Mark? I'm saying. I'm we have a little that, experience with this. We've yeah. been talking about this, this subject a, for off and on for 10 years. This is somebody that I was in love with and that I was, you know, a, a, a head over heels. And what it becomes is that she's picking up her mail and I'm saying, you know, come on. You know, and here's the thing. If you're a woman and, and, and I've asked women this in clubs and I said, how many times have you, have you fucked a guy that you broke up with? And, you know, you get a good good amount of people. Uh-huh. And I say, well, the, the ones that don't, you know, you, you are the worst type of woman. I mean, do us a favor. <laughs> You know, I mean, after you break up with us, I mean, just fuck us occasionally. Is that wrong? Oh, boy. Uh, that's um, that's not a good idea. Well, no. here's the saddest part about it. Is this the person you love, and she's coming over to get her mail, and it gets it's sort of like, hey, well, just for old times. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't, don't you still feel it? Whatever. You know, and it got to this point where, you know, I just remember, you know, proposing to her, telling her how much I love her. Uh, and then it gets to me oh, where Jesus. she's walking out with a memories. bundle of mail, oh, boy. a oh, bundle okay. of mail. And I'm saying, come on, just help me. She's oh, like, I don't think that'd be a good no. idea. And I'm like, oh, and th- this is what happened. I'm like, Can, will you just show me your ass and let me jerk oh, off? Oh, so no. that's, say that? Yeah. Oh, I love you. So, so that's, that's, what, oh. that's what love becomes. She's like, you really want to do that? I'm like, I, yeah, I kind of do. Just show me oh. your ass and let me jerk off. Oh, that's yeah, a good one. Did you do that? Did you do the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life? Life. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... and she said no, and I'm like, well, I'm still gonna do it, you know. So it, it was it was pathetic, but but what it was, it is still what it gonna is. jerk off to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You Could can't you stop show, me. Could you that show was, me your ass while I jerk? <laughs> That's, That's great. Oh. But, but the thing is, Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Yeah, comics are a special <laughs> breed, aren't we? Oh, but, boy. But that's the, that's the weird thing, is that that, that was the, as romantic as I could be at that moment. Right. In that moment of desperation, all I had was that. Wow. Those were the options. That's tough, that's bro. I could have just said bye. And, you know, I hope you didn't get any bad mail. Yeah. But no, I'm like, please, just let me... I'll, let me jerk off to your ass. <laughs> oh, wow. And that does show women, though, when you, like, when you, when you, when it's all boiled down, that is what they are. Please just let me look at your hiney while I fucking come on myself and then take your mail and have a drunk driving next week. Ah, Mark Marin is in studio. He's playing Mark. Giggles in Seattle this weekend and, 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 and uh, recording his last CD. Yeah, maybe the last Before he <laughs> puts not, a gun in his mouth. I'm, look, I, you know, I don't want to, because I have found that, you know, suicidal ruminations, uh, despite the fact, uh, you know, it's all very well and dramatic. You know, I, I, I'm not depressed. You know, I just sometimes I think about suicide. I don't want to kill myself. It just makes no. me feel better to know that I can if I have to. Yeah. There's nothing wrong it's with that. That options there. But, I guess. but you know, you go in and out of that. You know, right? You were you were going through this. I mean, uh, there, there are moments where you're so tied up with the pride, with the money idea, with the feeling of of not having any control of the situation, where you know your self pity gets the best of you, and you're just like, fuck it. No, fuck I it. went the other way. I'm it was it, you went, I'm it was kill her. rage. Yeah, I was more like, no, not I was going to kill her. But I wished, n- like, natural or just accidental death on people. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't go out and think, oh, my God, I want to literally kill that person because I didn't want to end up in prison or anything like that. But I was like, you know something? I wouldn't shed a tear over a car wreck or uh, a bolt of lightning. I, I was so enraged with utter and sheer 
hatred of another human being. It's weird, you know. It's like I'm, I'm ashamed to say, especially in in, uh, in 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 present company, in the presence of men. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> yeah and believe me, this is the only show I can talk about this mm-hmm. shit on. You know, because uh, you know, st- you know, to some people, you know, I'm still a, a beacon of liberal and progressive thought. Sure. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, do, I do have that part of me, but I have to indulge this other thing because the 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 man in me has been awakened, right, with the uh, the horrendous pain and resentment towards the uh, members of the opposite sex. Yes. Yeah, is that in, in all honesty? I don't know. If it's by virtue of the fact that you know, yeah, I've been sober for a while, but uh, you know, I, I don't I, I don't resent her mm-hmm. that i resent this process that she listened to vindictive cunts and <laughs> thank you yes they, who got into her head because i know my wife i know who she is i was with her a long time and she was I, brainwashed well not by her so, friends and lawyers she was angry at me for taking actions i took after she left me and after i filed for after divorce she left you that's remember right, that she that's left, key and i do remember that and i know that uh-huh. she, in, in my heart that she wasn't coming back and and I know that people got into her head and said, "Here's how you do it," because the things she said to me, you know, in, in the encounters we've had, it didn't sound like her, right? Well, it, it still isn't it's her. Like, it doesn't it's sound like, like her now. It's being filtered through her, but it's a lawyer or some bitch friend or some shit. This is how you hurt him, you know. This is how this is how right. you get back. Here's how you get him. That's right. And in in the thing that kills me is that. Despite the fact that I may I, I may have had a little anger problem, which I do, and I got to deal with it. But I, you know, I have to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you. You know, you know, after she left, my anger problem got much better. Really? Now, wow. Yeah, well, well, of course. I mean, if you have no one to complain to or yell at, you're going to yell and complain less, right? I mean, well, when you do that, by, you mm-hmm. can do that by yourself. Then you you're look lunatic. Silly. Yeah, you're, you're, you're <laughs> yeah, an idiot. <that's> silly. <laughs> so, uh, but 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 in my heart, the thing is, is that. Um, I just, you know, I just, uh, I, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. You know, the fucking thing is about love is what are you going to do? I guess it'll just be, it's going to take a little while longer. To a little. Hard, at to least two or three I more like years. seeing two this, though, years. because let me tell you something. Last time you were in, yeah, you were at a different place. No, yeah, in no, this no. process. Yeah. Now it's it's refreshing to see you in this place. Nope. It's better. You're progressing. You know what that means? You're he's banging young broads. You're going on now. Here you go, my yeah, friend. Right. This is what you need to do immediately. Yeah. Young girls. Okay. Let me just uh, lay it out there for you. Okay. You are now opened Hold up. On, let me get a pad. to the wonderful world <laughs> yeah. of youth. Yeah. Well, I find that I'm at that age now where you know, it seems that the 25 is. Uh, I'm 40. Is that your? Is that your? Uh, well, no, your I'm, baseline I'm, there? I'm just saying what I'm that's told. Mark. I'm just saying what I'm. Talk to Anthony. I'm is that your saying, baseline? That's not my baseline. That's that seems to be what what is coming at me without working too hard. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so you don't want to. You know, if you're just out, then those girls will come up to you. A little bit. You a put little a little effort that. into it. They're like, you should get that age down at 20, 20. Drive it down to <laughs> fucking junior high. <laughs> well, you know, I have just found that, in, in all honesty, in, in my life, yeah. you know, I, I don't, I, I, I generally see what, what comes towards me, and I, mm-hmm. I've grown to find that women who, who are attracted to me, no matter what age, they're, they're, they're smart, they're funny, they're cute, and deep down they resent every member of my gender. And somehow or another, <laughs> somehow or another, I'm going to have to pay for that. But it, it could be in a day, it could be in a week, it could be in eight years. But eventually, the problem, fellas, is that, uh, here's the big problem, all women, uh, uh, they have fathers. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you are going to pay... For whatever that father did or didn't do. <laughs> wow, holy fuck. To whatever fuck. extent Anthony they did, didn't do it. has said that for years. Dude, I, and I, I, when I, I'm a guy. I don't know how many more times i got to stick my cock into a hurricane. I don't know how many <laughs> more times. But if I look into her eyes and there's nothing but flying debris, <laughs> okay, I will be like, I'm putting my raincoat on and I'm going in there. And there's, you know, there's, there's Barbie parts flying around camp counts towards Miss Rides. You know what I mean? And, you know, yeah, Daddy said he was coming. And I'm in there. God, with two things it. that look like jumper cables wandering around in a, in a, in a storm saying, where's the broken daddy box? I'm going to plug directly into it, and I'll just hang on for as long as possible. Oh, my yeah. God. You nailed it. Can I jump in real fast? My ex, oh. my ex uh, you know, Father's Day would come along, and all of a sudden she's like a, an emotional wreck. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong? It's Father's Day. Because it reminds her of when Daddy left. Right. The- and then all of a sudden, we're just going about our lives, and all of a sudden, I wake up one morning, she's crying uncontrollably. I'm like, what What happened on this date with Daddy? That's, well, that, where, that's, the, that, thing. that's the game I would play with the her. Day that my- uh, today, it's his birthday. Right. <laughs> my wife, my, the day, and this is the, this is the 
God honest truth. The day she said, you know what? I'm getting along with my father a lot better. It was fucking over. You know what I mean? Like when she yeah. started watching football because her dad watched football. When I saw my wife sitting on the couch oh, shit. going, go, go. I'm like, what just happened? Yeah. What is, who's in my house? You know, and that was and, and that was the beginning of the end. And she's exactly like her father. Here's uh, my ex's story, yeah. which I should have known right immediately, off right off the bat. Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, I love this story. <laughs> he leaves the family <laughs> on Christmas Day. Hold on, Ed. I need this. <laughs> he leaves the family. Sometimes you don't want to pay for presents. Goes off. <laughs> goes off. And starts a brand new family from scratch. <laughs> yeah. Just, just from scratch. Day. And completely forgets about the other family he had. Men are unbelievable. I we? step into this fucking situation <laughs> thinking everything is going to be hunky-dory. And you are absolutely right. You will pay for the sins of the father. And, and y y you don't know when it's coming, but it is. And, and now my last ex, uh, which is very recent. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but uh, 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 you know, she just recently picked up and left. Uh, that one, God, it's fucking awful. That one, uh, her mom, who now that uh, I'm broken up with uh, with her, is just a fucking cunt. Who? My her ex girlfriend's mom. mother. Yeah, I fucking hate her. Uh, anyway. Wow, breaking A news. Anyway. Anyway. I'm sitting up. Anyway. I was leaning back too far. Uh, Wait, why this is one? Can, hold, hold on. Can, I, I don't, I, 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 why is she a uh, just, just a word? You know something? When I've dealt with her over this many years, um, there's just her personality, her her uh, 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 connivingness, uh, the, the uh, rather work it's swindling someone than actually work for a fucking living. Oh, dude, yeah. Just... Just, I, I fucking grit my teeth thinking how many times I had a smile at her when I wanted to hit her in the face with a fucking shovel. <laughs> Hate her! Always did. So so you always did, and Since now you can finally say it. Since day fucking one. Wow, you put on a good face, my Since friend. Since day, I, I did. I've hung out Give socially me my fucking in that situation Academy with you Award. a few times, and it looked like you guys all got along like you were... Give me my fucking Academy Award. <laughs> you got to play along. Because I fucking did it yeah. for the relationship. Why? What, what was the worst thing she did to you? If you could say, I don't even know. Said hello. It doesn't matter. Any, anything. You just got a Dude. sense. You got Dude. a sense right away. There was a complete lack of any appreciation of anything that uh, I would do, helping out, well, family-wise, which, uh, that, just this... It's a no fact this, that Anthony is very generous and, and helped out a lot of people uh, in in your last relationship. And her past track record of uh, uh, relationships uh, uh, and hatred of men and, and swindling uh, people out of uh, uh, various uh, goods and things is just uh, legendary. But that's what they um, all become when she started but, the divorce process. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me about it. That's what they do. Believe me. Um, but uh, the, she had, you know, three kids with three different men. This uh, is the woman you were dating. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't a red flag. And one, no, 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 no. Okay, I was gonna no, say, no, no, <laughs> no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a fucking sex is mom. wife with a kid. I date kids. I don't fucking <laughs> have women with them. He fuck kids. I don't have women with them. With the kids. Backwards. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, home early. But uh, the uh, <laughs> the um, uh, the father. So the father wasn't in her life either for right. many many years. Right. You know, he had a, a drug problem, an alcohol problem, apparently. Uh, but he got over that. I'd met him, and he seemed like a nice enough guy and everything. I had never had a problem with him. But being out of the life so long, there it is again. Maybe a father issue. I don't fucking know. I'm no shrink. But for some reason, I always hook up with girls that have, that have no issues. fucking fathers. I like it because I don't have to deal with a fucking father. But it, it, there's something there. Look, it, 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 you know what? I've been doing a lot of research on this. Just at home on my couch by myself with Hater. no book. With no books. <laughs> wait, can, wait, anyway, Mark, can you hold yeah. that thought? I'm sorry. Because sorry. Sorry. Well, you have no idea what he just did here today. Big time. Because mm. I was thinking in my dopey head that there might be a, a slight chance yeah. that, that the door is uh, slightly open with him and uh, his ex. And I, I do believe that door no, is no, officially no, no, shut no. in I, my I eyes. Don't, I don't go back to exes. I don't go back to exes. Even if they come to and say, I never have. Here's a present. None of that? 
Nothing. No, oh. I don't go back to Exodus. Well, Jose Canseco is walking in. Jose, oh, what's up, buddy? There it is. Saved by the Where bell. We're talking about uh, uh, ex-wives, ex-girlfriends. Ex-lives. Uh, ex-wives. That's a good way to look at it. Mo their mothers. Divorces. Maybe I, maybe I the mother-in-laws. The friggin' uh, families. The, the crap. He looks like Rick Delgado on steroids. Much Jose. better looking. Than That's what Rick looked like <laughs> at NEW. <laughs> Rick Delgado on steroids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Mark Marin, he's a, a comedian friend of ours. He's oh, going yeah. through a little hey, divorce thing. And when you going through a divorce right now? Yeah, I am. Ants, I am. Poor guy. I went through uh, it. Can you help me in any way? <laughs> poor guy. Can you bring half. it back? Half. Yeah. Ants, well, being, Ants still going through a divorce uh, thing. No, I though. went through it. It's over. I just well, he's got still writing pay. some checks. I still got to pay. Which are going to yeah. end soon, by the way. How many yeah, you had? God. Two. Uh, two so divorces? I'm, so I'm an expert. Two divorces. Oh. Did, did, any, did anything go your way in either of them? Not even close. Well, well, let me rephrase that. My second wife couldn't break my prenuptial, so that went well at least. Oh, okay, but they she tried. tried. She tried. Oh, a yeah. And, and legal fees up the ass, right? Mm, no, not really, because I had an ironclad prenup, so it was. Oh, uh, good. It was pretty clean. See, that's what you yeah. need. An ironclad prenup. prenup to protect my ten dollars. Believe me, you never yeah, know. If have, your ten dollars. You know? Look at me. I was a fucking tin knocker. Yes. I was making twenty-eight thousand dollars a year, and I I marry this uh, woman. And then uh, I become a fucking radio guy, so making some a radio pretty good superstar. change. Call it okay, a radio. I become a radio superstar, radio superstar, superstar, making a pretty good chunk of change. I didn't know when I was making twenty eight grand, knocking tin, crawling in people's attics, that I would need a prenup. But believe me. If you're fucking doing, no matter what you do, you should get a goddamn prenup before you get married because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. How well, awkward how is do they it live with themselves? What's that? How awkward is it presenting a prenup? Like, look, I love you, I want to spend my life with you, but uh, before we consider that, I don't well, want to get fucked easy. when we split up. It's easy when you're already married once and your first wife took half. Yeah. But is the second so, they know the game. Easy. Is the second one annoyed that you want the prenup? But Jose, like we're she in understands. love. This shouldn't happen. Half. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do they say? Well, no. She was. She was pretty. She was pretty. Yeah, cool pretty about cool it. about it. Yeah. She, she yeah. Because they're up for the ride. They're. You know. They know what they're getting into. They're going to have a good time either way. All right. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. What yeah. kind of gun did you for hold to your head? <laughs> you had to, right. Come on. You signed this bitch. He had Luca Brasi. Yeah, yeah. Luca Brasi made her an offer. I'll kill you. Hey, speaking of uh, broads, it's a good uh, place to start. Uh, 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 baseball players and uh, women on the road. Jeez, mm. this is mm. terrible. Is that a bad place to start? No, it's a good place. I bet, I, uh, we have this theory when we see like uh, baseball players retire and they're crying their eyes out in front of everybody. We think it's not that they're going to miss the game. We think it's because they're going to miss the broads on the road, and they're they're going to be stuck at home with their wife finally. And they, now they got to come up with excuses how to get back on the road so they can bang the broads. No, I think by that time you're just too old. You're in your forties and you're gladly retired. You're but, fucked uh, out, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you, it was uh, in my heyday. It was pretty crazy. But it what was, kind of uh, what kind yeah. of you attract? I mean, uh, comics attract. Uh, you don't even want to know. But like our, like our baseball groupies, like I mean, are they lunatics? Are they scary? I guess, yeah. I mean, you attract all types. You yeah. attract the, the scary ones. The good what was this, ones, the scariest good ones. one? Like, is it true that... <laughs> oh, is I'll it, tell you. One that actually liked to be choked out while you were having sex. <laughs> that was awful. Wow. Right. Really? Yeah. I was I was like, I'm not touching you again. No. <laughs> well, you you got to try and kill you. You, you might kill once. her, right? I love how he said again. That means he at least said, <laughs> yeah, I had to yeah. try it once. I'll try it. I tried it once, and after <laughs> that, forget about <laughs> it. freak you out? Yeah. It was scary. Yeah? Yeah, because their eyes started rolling in her head, and it was like, whoa, wait a minute. You're doing the exorcist or what? It's going to be worse, worse than a prison Never again. Prison time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Wait, and she it... wanted me to squeeze her neck even harder. So I was like, what are you kidding me? Um, I got to go. Uh, what the fuck is with that? Would she tap out? Like, how, how would it go down? Would tap she say, out, like, you know, squeeze fighter. harder? I'm ready to come. Yeah, here. and her eyes started rolling in her head, and once I saw that, I was like, this is crazy. I'm out. Bye. No fun, huh? <laughs> no, it was it was it was crazy. It was it was wow, that's insane. the worst is when you think they want that and they don't. Well, that's a silly explanation. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> well, well, you're asking to die. Well, say, yeah. what can you tell us about the broads on the road, though? A lot of these guys have a, uh, a woman in every city. Well, I can just speak for myself, and you can imagine from there. But um, <laughs> I, you know, these women are throwing themselves at you. I mean, they get by security. They find out what hotels you're at. As soon as you go in your door, they're in your room, literally. Wow. Um, they're waiting for you at the hotel bar. They're kind of, in, in a way, stalking you, trying to find out where you're at each each second. They're waiting for you after the game. And, of course, you're, at the time, the best player in the world making a certain amount of salary and look a certain way. It's 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 just the inevitable. You know, they make it very easy. 
Do they have baseball cards and they go, fuck them, fuck them, blow them, <laughs> fuck them, blow them, blow them, fuck them? Are they looking for relationships or just uh, to get off? Believe it or not, uh, a lot of them want relationships. Uh, at least they say that anyways. Wow. So you can't really figure out you know, who's who. But you know, That's just the kind of woman you want, someone who stalked you at a bar in a hotel sure. in a strange city. <laughs> Let's start dating and get romance. married. Have so, kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So when that story came out with A-Rod, uh, with that girl in Toronto, you weren't surprised, right? Absolutely not. Hmm. No, I mean, A-Rod's a good-looking guy. I mean, when all is said and done, he's going to be worth probably $400 million, which is crazy. So... I, I, you know, I see women throwing themselves at him all the time. He may go to a strip bar, club now and then. Yeah. Even these women who are married are just probably throwing themselves at him. And, you know, it becomes very, very difficult to say no at times. Do you like the guy or do you not like him? I don't like him. I don't like A-Rod at all. I met him when he was very young. And like I said, he, uh, he looked at my wife at the time and said, wow, it's a beautiful woman. All of a sudden I find out later on that, you know, he's calling her and they're, they're maybe they hooked up or something. So wow. It, it was, was kind of bad. This is the first wife? Second wife. Second wife. Yeah. So he's wow. a real pursuit her. He Fuck. just flirted at a party. Oh, definitely. He per pursued her. And I was think... he married at the time? I'm not sure about the time frame. I, th I think he was. I what a prick. Was. God, you could go yeah. out there and just fucking grab yeah. any chick you want. But that right. was about that's the, the dominating a male. Though. Right. That wasn't that's about right. the woman. That was about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this to Jose Canseco. That's, yeah, that's animal bigger, shit. It could, it, could, it could have been. And, you know, Jessica, I don't know if you guys saw her in the Playboy. She was a drop oh, yeah. dead gorgeous oh, woman. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So maybe that had part to do with it. But she was your woman. Right. She was my wife at the time. So that he just was doing some, you know, lion pack bullshit. Could have been. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I like the analogy, lion pack. Well, <laughs> well looks like you got it. So uh, getting back to Anthony's um, ex's mother. What? <laughs> Jeez, when we were, was that what we were talking about when well, Jose Canseco walked in? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, you, you shocked a lot of people today with that. Uh, and, and then people on Instant Feedback are like, wow, Anthony just got saved by Jose Canseco. You would have, he, somebody wrote, oh, you could have rode that till 11, no problem. Oh, I know. You're yeah, calling your, e your ex's mother a I can't even say the word. Yeah. It's tough for me to say that well, word. I, mean, I, I say it, but. Called uh, it just called it the C word. The C word. We'll, we'll just call it the C word just, today. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I thought you all got a wrong. revelation. I like well, my ex's mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good for you. Yeah. I just did. I just Mark uh, in the studio. By you way. know, I did. I did things and said things uh, to, for the better of uh, the relationship. Yeah, and um, it's not like uh, uh, people didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I think it's not like my ex didn't know that. But it's just uh, the way I felt. But you know, I kept up a good front. Yeah, because uh, you know, non confrontational Anthony. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm beloved. Yeah, I know. I feel that. And, uh, yeah, you know. I just want you to lose your shit one fucking day. Oh, yeah, That's all I, I have. Eh, not so much. Yeah. I want you to, like, put fists through monitors. I want you to oh, that, now kick that's down you. doors. I want, Look in the fucking mirror if I, you want to see that. I want to see <laughs> windows <Rageaholic>. broken. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I... I've shot my computer, for fuck's sake. I put a round through True. my computer. Hey, I'm uh, more into guns anyway.